Hello there everyone, this is Godzi, and today we're playing Hearts Ablaze. I found this on Itch, and it has such a low rating, at least recently. It has 4.5 stars, but the most recent uh, reviews of this game are all really bad, even though this game came out almost a year ago now. Also, you can shoot in the screen, that's kind of cool. So let's just kind of jump in. From the screenshots I saw, what is this? More enemies start with 30 seconds, normal enemies start with 45 seconds oh there's a timer we'll just play medium um from what i could see it kind of looked like uh nuclear throne so i'm kind of kind of curious about this you die when the timer reaches zero your armor uses health survive wait your arm your ammo uses health wait a minute what okay um so i'm assuming Okay, I'm assuming as long as we clear the floors, we get our health back, maybe? Yeah, we do. Okay, sweet. Shots explode more. One in three shots is free. One in three shots is free. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Yeah, actually, one in three shots is free. Why not? Oh, wait. This is weird. Wait, wait, wait. Your hearts don't actually restart upon floor. Okay, so you got to be... I'm, I'm not... I, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, you, you have to be very steady with your shots and not get hit. Okay. Yeah, this is... Okay, I, I can see where the difficulty comes from this game. Because I, I only have 15, se 15 seconds left, basically. Uh, I wonder if this the hearts on the top right give you more hearts... I'm not sure. Move 10% faster. Shoots triple shot. Shoots triple. Oh, we lose three hearts. Wait. That's kind of... Yeah, I'm already dead. Okay, wow. This game is... Um... We're going to try this on, on, on normal. Or easy, I guess, because that was normal. What, what even... Yeah, I, I don't know. And this game, like I said, was released a long time ago at this point. Um... So, it, it, you know, I don't know how the developers thought you could survive for long periods of time. I don't want either one of these. Actually, we might get moved faster, I guess. But, yeah, considering... It, I feel like you have to really rely on ricocheting off of enemies or just grouping enemies up together. But, I mean, aside from that, this is kind of difficult. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'd be dead already. Shots explored more. We're going to take triple shots, I guess. Nice, okay. And, yeah, some enemies do drop hearts, but they oh, they give you five seconds back, which... Uh, you know... Uh, no, no. Okay, nice. Yeah, literally about to die already. Sweet. Uh, we can get a shotgun. We're gonna do the one in three shots. It's free. Yeah, I can definitely say this game is really hard, and after playing it, I might actually just want to get Nuclear Throne. <laughs> Oh, there's only a certain number of floors, I'm assuming. Oh, actually, no. I guess we just didn't have enough health to... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This this game is... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's some strategy here that I'm not saying. We're going to keep trying this on easy. I couldn't even imagine how difficult this would be on hard. Okay, so I saw a bunch of enemies over here. One more. Yeah, you have to be very tactical on this. Uh, we are going to move faster. Just movement speed is going to just be that much, that beneficial for us. Uh, enemies? Enemies. And the other bad thing about this is that since we're on a timer, whenever enemies are, they killed each other. Okay. Whenever enemies are super far away, you really have to worry about, you know, being able to find them and whatnot. Which ironically enough was one of the, uh, the complaints people had. I know I just took a ton of damage there. Yeah, like right here. Get out of here. Uh, one in three shots is free. Oh, does this shoot? Wait, 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 hold on. Does this actually use three? Of okay. Well, I... Hmm. I'm going to give this one more try. I didn't want this video to be that short. It's five minutes so far, but... what? I don't know. I don't know. 
they made it maybe should have made it to where whenever you uh beat a wave i'm just gonna have to cut through here aren't i yep they should have made it to when you you actually went through a wave uh hello enemy last enemy there we go you got some hearts back because with the fact that you actually don't gain hearts back i don't see how even doing this on the most difficult um setting would be easy or how you would come up with a strategy for the most difficult uh setting all right, we're, we're, we might do another run after this one. Uh, nice. Uh, I honestly don't even want to take any upgrades. No, 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 no. I refuse to die. And we died. Okay, we're doing one more run. Each run's about a minute long, so... Mm. I'm going to hold hold my judgment until this this last run for sure. Nice. Enemies? Enemies? Hello? Where are you guys hiding? Alright. Yeah, I'm just not going to get any upgrades. Unless it's an upgrade that doesn't cost any hearts. Uh, they're definitely more of a detriment. Yeah, because I, I don't see how you could ever get out of the deficit in terms of how many hearts you start with. Since they're tied to, uh, to, you know, to the timer. Like, how, how would you ever get more hearts than you, what you started with? Unless every enemy you fired at, um, dropped extra hearts. Like, yeah, we got, we got a little bit there, but we still lost time overall. Yeah, we're skipping everything. We're gonna keep going. Nice. Nice, okay. We're still in it. Nice, okay. We're still in it. Yeah, if more enemies keep dropping hearts like that, I think we can go the distance, but I, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of on the firm belief. And I died. I'm kind of on the firm belief that unless you get lucky and tons of enemies drop lots of hearts, you're just kind of... You're, you're not, you're not going to have a good time with this game. Let, I'm going to try on hard. We have 30 seconds, more enemies. Maybe more enemies means uh, my gun's going to be super inaccurate. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Whoa. That was a mulligan. One last time on hard. Let's do it. Okay. Um... Yeah, you know, I guess on hard we can uh, kind of survive. I want, I just kind of want to see how far can we get here. We just have to get lucky with these uh, hard spawns because there we go. And then enemies have to be on the other side of the screen, of course. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is, all right, all right. Well, let's go back to the title screen. All right. So we played this for about 10 minutes now. It's something like that. I, I'll, I'll cut through some things. It won't look like 10 minutes for you guys. But some of those late uh, reviews, the reviews that are months and months late, kind of have a point. You don't get health back between levels. Uh, health drops are very rare. The fact that your health is tied to the timer and ammo is bad. You know, like there can be enemies on the other side of the screen. And because of how big some of these screens were, you kind of you, you kind of lose time, and it's it's you know, I, I if someone can get to wave ten on this game, you know I'd be surprised. I think it'd probably be possible, but the amount of luck you have to have either with enemy spawns or heart drops or both, honestly, um, is just it, it's pretty high. Not to mention the fact that it's honestly just better to run through this game without getting any of the upgrades because upgrades for some reason also cost health. I don't know. The concept's great. Again, it felt like, you know, it had a nice little nuclear throne vibe, at least in terms of uh, aesthetics. But overall, it, it, it could ha it could have had some uh, a, a little bit more love and thought put into it. But with that being said, as always, this is Godzi, and thanks for watching.